Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 Episode 7 of Akatsuma Parade. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is time to see Ichigo, Aoi, and Ron. Only if Mizuki was also in this episode, but it's okay! We get to see the three girls start it all, and I can't wait! It's gonna be so good, my baby! I'm so excited. And hopefully this is the time when officially Rocky can like officially talk to her dang sister because I hate the fact that like no matter where they go, they are so close to freaking her to her sister that it's not even funny and then something happens and then she's gone. Yeah, you're outside of four star <laughs> Starlight Academy. What do you smell? Food? Yeah, it should be Ichigo's mom's shop. Yay! Because we're going to see Raichi, right? And now he's <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Oh my god. And like paved the way for all these girls. Like, oh my god. Even though Mizuki ain't in this episode, we all know how I'm gonna be when Mizuki comes. I'm being excited as heck because Mizuki is my girl and I love her so freaking much. But you know what? It's okay. I am happy with Soul. Oh god, I can't. Like, <laughs> I didn't think today would have been a really emotional day for me, but oh my god. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this is oh my god. Oh my god. Good, ain't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Smell of idols.
Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, except they're in high school. Mm -hmm. Thank God that they're finally referencing things from the movie because, oh! <sighs> Oh, her VA has to come so far. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, of course. <laughs> huh? And they changed the dresses. It looks so cute. Oh, we just mm, calm down.
I just can't. I am dying. It's everything that I wanted. And I'm so happy. My baby run. I just need Mizuki. Give me Mizuki. I really want one of those, like, so bad. Oh, it's that guy from episode one! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I also would have thought that her dad would have been in this episode. We haven't seen each of that since, like, OG. But still. Please, God, I beg you, <laughs> sometime throughout this series, even though we have Masquerade perform one time, and one time only, I swear to God, if they literally have those two perform in this series, I will just... Huh. <laughs> Because we have so many films open the first time they performed together, not even at Soleil when they did move on now and they kept practicing. Oh my god! Oh my heart! Freaking Eureka would send some blue roses, but that's okay. Gorgeous. It does suck that none of the girls from like any of the other seasons are in this, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
one song I don't remember the name of it We got like five minutes. How in the world are you going to have each go perform and then Soy perform together? It, it's going to happen though. I don't know how, but. They might not even have it happen. They might just go straight to Soy. my voice. <clears throat> oh, you bastard. I literally thought you were going to show me. Yeah. 
it's so weird to see that dress in like a different animation because like let's go all the way back to when this show started and just oh my god it looks so much pretty in the new animation like oh my god i'm really proud of bandai for doing this series like oh they're not known just for gundam anymore they're known for a really good idol series It's freaking perfect. Oh my god. My heart. Jesus. I wasn't ready for it, but it was so good. Yeah, with two minutes left, I don't think they're going to show it. So there might be a two-parter with this episode. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, my little fangirling self. I feel like I'm like a teenager again watching this i just recently graduated <laughs> and i started watching this show and i was like oh my god who would have thought okay i loved this episode this might be my personal favorite episode until you know my girl needs to keep comes but seeing my baby ron i'll eat an itchy cold like oh uh, i loved it so good Oh, that was like a little weird right there though. Okay, but I'm also getting feel so like remember in the very last episode of OG Akatsu when they performed this song together and then Ichigo eventually had to leave and then like Aoi and Ron were crying. I was crying as well because I was like, damn, I gotta wait until next week to see like what's gonna happen for the start of season two because the way season one had ended, I was assuming that the show wasn't going to come on until the following year or like later on into the year and then you got that preview for the following episode and i was so happy but i was so upset because i was like dang it's gonna probably be a while until we see that little blondie right there but no she was the end of this the first episode of season two when she came back but it was so good it is just so weird to see how far Ichigo's voice actress. Don't know about Aoi's because I haven't heard her in a lot of other things. Same thing with most of the other girls. <laughs> Hi. Oh, she's gonna end it. Oh my god. So we're gonna see the lady who be easily triggered again. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, but still, it is really good, like, especially with the fact is, like, if most of you have seen, um, The Promised Neverland, Ichigo's voice actress is in that, and she does a very amazing job as Emma, and of course the show is getting a season two, and it's coming out sometime next year, I don't know exactly when, but this girl, like, to know that this was one of the first shows, well, really, OG Akatsu, was the first show that I saw and heard her VA in, I never would have imagined, like, Number one, how big Aikatsu would have gotten and anything else she would have done 
after essentially, you know, her kind of stepping away from my custody because I mean, well, even though typically, cause she wasn't in season two, she was, no, she was barely in the second generation, but I think by the time between I cut two stars and I cut two friends, because the fact is, yes, she played Tsubasa, <clears throat> but it wasn't her, um, I like to call Ichigo, uh, Ichigo's voice, the, her girly voice, her, um, Tsubasa voice is more of a mature and she has like, if you hear her as Emma, you will distinctly hear Ichigo, but and there's points in time where she sounds like Tsubasa, and you're literally looking at her like, yep, yeah, there's the two personalities inside this little orangey-haired, cute, adorable child who's trying to save all these little kids, plus herself and her friends and stuff, but, like, seriously, if you haven't seen The Promise Neverland, like, really watch it. It's a definitely good behind anime. But, like, this episode was so good, and I'm really glad that there's a two-parter with this, because they didn't, I mean, you know, Ichigo Ran and Aoi, they didn't perform together, and they're supposed to perform together. I do love the fact that we got to see them do their separate things and see their individuality, like, shine through each song and each performance. But now, you know, next week's episode, or really next Saturday, is this is when we're going to see all of them become one and, like, literally just know that they were the first freaking unit of this series. And I love the fact that, like, man, my heart, <laughs> it was just too much. And, like I said, when music key comes in, and when, like, I am praying to the gods, like, okay, from... The fact is, since Orihime and Ichigo's mom both came in this episode, and they're probably going to be in the following episode, I, I better see Match Grain next week. I'm just saying. Also, when Mizuki comes, whether she's performing as Double M or as herself, there's two. There's either one of three songs I would want her to perform. Either her Double M song or What's Her Face, her Precious song, Precious Day song, or my personal favorite song, Move On Now. If she performs Move On Now, we're done. We, we are done, like, no matter what, because that is my song. And the last time I heard that song being performed was the end of OG Aikatsu, really the end of, like, second generation, when, um, what's your face? The the Happy Happy Train Girl. Uh, Risa? Whose name is kind of like Lisa? She performed it, and she did really good, but I was like, I still need my music, god dang it. But I got my music kind of that day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 7 of Aikatsu on Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next, probably next Monday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on whenever um it comes out for episode 8. Bye, guys!